In the Philippines, surplus production of fruits and vegetables is a perennial occurrence. Even before the COVID-19 pandemic, we would hear or watch news about oversupply of agricultural harvest. With more supply than what the market demands, products are left unsold and wasted, or prices are driven down, leaving the producers at the losing end. In cases of highly perishable crops, farmers may sell their products at a losing price, or leave their crops to rot in the field. Either way, valuable farm inputs and resources are lost. Tapos sa kinarami-rami ng repulyo, kurang yung pagtatambakan, kurang yung pagdidistributan ng mga gulay. When the pandemic hit in 2020, community quarantine protocols made it difficult to move the harvests. Before the lockdown, this was just an empty parking lot. Now this has become a temporary drop-off point for farmers who are desperate to sell their vegetables. Buyers don't really come to Nueva Ecija, as we have to be the one to go to them. When we do, they even dictate the price. Closure of roots and establishments made it difficult for the farmers to deliver and sell their fresh produce, which left up to 35% unsold, according to an IATF survey. Many factors directly and indirectly drive losses and wastage along the food value chain from harvest up to consumption. Food loss occurs from harvest to processing of the value chain, while food waste happens at the retail and consumption level. According to Japan International Cooperation Agency report in 2019, the Philippines lacks strategic R&D in product and process development in the vegetable value chain that leads to losses, in contrast to other countries where vegetables are utilized as ingredients or intermediate products for food and beverage manufacturing. To enable farmers or processors, the same report suggested government interventions through partnerships and various assistance programs to address this. Under the DOST Smart Food Value Chain Program, the Industrial Technology Development Institute proposed the development of Mobile Modular Food Processing Facility or MMFPF. With a two-year duration and budget of 176 million pesos, the ITDI project will develop mobile facilities specializing in drying, frying, thermal processing, and aseptic processing that will address the recurrent surplus production of high-value food in the regions 4B, 6, 9 and 10. The MMFPF will showcase innovative concepts of a typical processing plant on wheels. There will be modules for different sections and processing auxiliaries compliant to current food safety standards, energy and environment regulations and good manufacturing practices or GMP. DOSTM MFPFs will feature advanced technologies on mobility, modularity and smart manufacturing systems. Mobility. To give more food producers in the regions access to available food processing technologies. Modularity. As self-contained and independent modules can be combined or assembled as necessary. Smart systems wherein the assembly will be integrated with information and communication technologies for operation and monitoring. ITDI formed a design core team composed of food technologists and engineers with various expertise to work together throughout the MMFPF design development, assembly, testing and commissioning phases. For specific technical and regulatory requirements, the team will work with technical support groups, industry consultants and regional stakeholders. Upon transfer of the MMFPFs to the regions, training on operation, trial production and evaluation will be conducted. With available MMFPFs, DOST support for the food producers will have a farther reach and contribute to addressing the issue on the huge agricultural surplus in the regions. This will not only help the farmers and sellers reduce their losses and wastes but will also increase the productivity in the countryside and improve food security.